Now in this module, we're looking at how educational technologies have evolved over the millennia and how they have now come to influence and be influenced by digital culture. But first we need to understand the long history of technology and its use within education. So I've provided you with a timeline that you can make your way through and look at the various aspects of technologies that have impacted education and some that you wouldn't necessarily think were technologies such as language or cave paintings. These all were the initial precursors as technologies of the modern technologies we utilize today. Indeed, some of them we still use. So once you've taken that up to the internet era, we can then start exploring what has happened since then. So since the 1990s, we've seen quite a phenomenal explosion of digital technologies having an impact upon not only culture, but also a particular expression of that culture in education. Now, we have a series of what are called ages that technologies have passed through, and the same applies to educational technologies, where we started with things such as maps and drawings and symbols, and then we had things such as books, huge revolution for education. But then we had more modern um, eras as well, such as the first electronics revolution, where we had things such as um, projectors and tape recorders, television. Then we moved into the digital age with the advent of computers. And we saw quite a popularity around computer aided assisted or computer assisted or computer aided instruction. Then we moved into individualized instruction as a result of these technologies. And that was the big focus, providing everyone with an individualized learning pathway rather than a collective educational experience. Now, after that, generally we moved into an aspect of educational technologies informed by our understanding of the computing industry. Now, these were things such as systems thinking and systems approach, systems engineering, trying to actually craft the educational experience from a scientific and engineering perspective of optimizing outcomes and so forth. And we had programmed instruction and a whole series of multimedia technologies and learning management systems and things of that nature. And we're currently entering into a sixth age, focusing on the learning sciences, and in particular, our understanding of how the brain encodes information through our short and long term memory, and also our understanding of artificial intelligence, and how artificial intelligence learns, and how we can learn more about human learning processes, and augment human learning processes, through emerging artificial intelligence technologies. So there are a range of what we call modern ages of educational technology. But we had all of those pre-internet technologies, this evolution from pre-internet into internet and beyond. And now we're seeing the internet era and post-internet era technologies. So with the internet, we saw the emergence of the World Wide Web, um, a whole range of communication technologies from email to short message services to video conferencing. We have learning management systems and social media, massive online courses. So all of these technologies have been wrapped up in other hardware advances, such as laptops and smartphones, virtual reality and augmented reality. Bring your own device computers where every student has their own um, device rather than institutionally providing them through to every student having multiple devices. So all of these have played their 
role in shaping a digital culture within education. And of course, we're now seeing a move beyond the internet era technologies into an AI era, where particularly with um, emerging tools for um, textual and image generation, we're seeing another whole series of advances occurring at the moment. But what I would like you to do is using the example of the pre-internet technologies timeline that I provided you, we're now building a post-internet technologies timeline created by yourselves. So previous students have added a number of entries and I'd like you now to think about a uh, post-internet technology that isn't currently in the timeline. Do a little bit of research and find out when it started, um, a link to it, and if possible, an image, although the images don't tend to work out too well, um, and open the spreadsheet and add your entry into there. Then refresh your page and you should be able to see your contribution to the timeline in the timeline. And we'll incorporate that into our discussions in the tutorial.